At the end of this video, over 300 trees would have been cut down. Every second of every day we cut down trees covering half a football pitch. Since human existence, about half the tree coverage has been deforested, especially in the last two centuries. Over one-eighth of the Amazon rainforest has already been lost, and this video will summarize why this is happening and what it means for our planet. Let's look at three major causes of deforestation. Agriculture logs in as the leading cause of deforestation globally, excluding Europe. The reason for this is to grow soya production used to feed cattle, pigs, and poultry. As it stands, forests that have existed for millions of years must be cut down to satisfy the demand for cheap meat. In countries like Indonesia and Malaysia, forest grounds are cleared for growing palm oil, which is used in many food products such as instant noodles, peanut butter, vegan cheese, and ice cream. Did you know that palm oil is increasingly used to make biodiesel to replace fossil fuels? Which doesn't make climate sense. Why? Because you are simply replacing the fossil fuel, preventing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, and instead, cutting down trees which would have absorbed the carbon dioxide in the first place. Much like the ocean, trees are like the lungs of the planet. They take in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, storing the carbon to build their roots, leaves and branches and returning oxygen back into the atmosphere. This is the natural carbon cycle which should keep the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere constant. However, when you cut down the trees some of the carbon dioxide no longer gets absorbed and is left in the atmosphere adding to the greenhouse effect. Mining for minerals such as gold and coal results in an enormous loss of tropical forest where concentrated deforestation takes place. The mining process requires extensive clearing of land for infrastructure in order to extract and store minerals. Countries like Peru, Brazil, and even the United States have experienced an increased tropical forest loss due to deforestation. The impact of mining on the environment continues to be ignored because economic sectors thrive business-wise. Expansion, especially as the ever-increasing human population grows, forest regions are cleared in order to provide space for new settlements, cities, and communities to develop. This also means the demand to provide various sectors with wood, for wood production is maximized, forcing the need to invade more forestry areas, despite the chokehold it has on climate change. More than half the world's land-based plants, animals, and birds live in and around forests. If we cut them down, we lose this biodiversity. Removing trees will impact temperatures that protect and provide for wildlife and ecosystems. Lastly, that indigenous forest people have an intimate knowledge of medicinal plants. Once the forests are lost, we lose this knowledge and the plants themselves, a sad reality faced by the indigenous people in South America rainforests, as the land stolen from the forests is disappearing without balanced reforestation. At the end of every video, we want to remind you that hope is never lost. So here are five things we can all do right now to protect our precious forests. One, choose recycled paper products and look for the FSC Tick Tree logo when you're shopping. Two, purchase sustainably sourced palm oil products. Look for RS Po on the label. Three, think about reducing the amount of meat you eat. Replace meat with plant-based protein. Four, stop buying single-use products like plastics items, straws, and balloons. Five, educate others. It is free. Share this video to help us spread the word. Save our planet. Your choice. Your change.